All right, today we're gonna to talk about the Honda Blind Spot Information System, which is only available on selected models and trips. So keep that in mind, it's not part of the Honda Sensing. It's a whole feature by itself. So Blind Spot Information System is supposed to help you give you that additional peace of mind when you're merging lanes, kind of catch those people in your blind spot. You're gonna have a sensor that's gonna be back in the rear fender. Um, it comes out about 10 feet towards us and 10 feet behind, uh, sorry, 15 feet behind you, okay? That's kind of an idea where your blind spot's going to be at. Um, you have to be going 20 miles an hour and plus for this system to work. So if you're going under 20 miles, it's not gonna go off and sensor all that. Now with the bigger vehicles, um, like the Pilot here, for example, you're gonna have your indicator on the inside. I like that because if it rains, snows, stuff like that, it makes it easier to see compared to with the CRV, which we're gonna walk right by here, which is not a bad thing. It's just on the side mirror for you. So to each their own. So right here is gonna be the indicator. Those indicators are gonna be the ones that light up to let you know when someone's in your blind spot. The only time when these talk back to you is uh, when you have your turning indicator on to warn you with your, uh, and when someone's in your blind spot, of course. All right, so let's pause the video. Hope we can get a visual on this here for you guys, all right? We have found some help now to uh, hold on to the cameras as we get on the road, but before we do, I want to talk a little bit about the blind spot information system settings. Um, I'm at the home menu at the moment. Uh, let's go hit settings here. We're gonna hit vehicle. You only can select vehicle if the car is in park. If it's anything but park, you cannot access the vehicle settings, so please keep note of that. Um, we're gonna hit driver's assist. We have blind spot information right down here. So, like I mentioned earlier, it gives you a visual and an audible as well. A lot of people keep it on that. Um, you can completely shut it off if you want or just as a visual from that point. So we're gonna keep it as it is so you can see how it plays out with all with both of them on. All right, so I got my seat and everything set up. I'm gonna hand the camera off right there to my friend that's gonna help me out. Once again, we wanna focus onto this little spot right here to see when it lights up. I'm gonna use the turning indicator when we are have some in our blind spot so you can hear it beep. So here we go, guys. Once again, we have to get up to 20 miles an hour for this to work. Um, if there's anything less than that, um, you would not have the sensing or anything in the blind spot to be activated. Might take a couple minutes for to see if we can find someone, huh? Okay, so we might have an opportunity. So it lights up. We'll see if we can get another one in a blind spot. So you can hear it kind of beep at you guys. Beep on some is in your blind spot. So yeah, that's your blind spot information, guys. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to drop a comment down below or contact me, Crazy Chris at Randy Kill Honda. Thanks again for watching, guys.